Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to today's notices. I'm standing outside by our own memorial where John Fieldson last year planted a rose in memory of the Holocaust. And I say that a day before Remembrance Day on the 11th of the 11th of Armistice Day, which we will be having our own remembrance service tomorrow. I would like all students to be in assembly tomorrow morning at 8.40. Please can you be on, uh, in school on time uh, and queued up outside the mass blocks in your houses by 8.35 please. Um, if you have fives or any other sport you will be attending that sports um, lesson uh, and activity after the uh, service. Please can you make sure that you are wearing school uniform for that service and we would all ask you to be wearing a poppy which I'm not because my poppy is over by our little plant uh, over there. There will be students coming round this afternoon during form time and prep time um, to uh, sell poppies. You can go into reception which is through there um, over on the desk there you can make a donation to the Royal British Legion and wear a poppy. We would love to see everybody wearing poppies tomorrow. We will be having a very short service in assembly tomorrow morning at 8.40. Um, all school uh, should be there in attendance. We would like to to ask all staff to be there as well. On Sunday the boarders will be attending a service or some boarders will be attending a service in Bray um, and all of the boarders that are on site will be going down to the Hollyport Memorial and laying a wreath there as well. So we are showing our support for the local community and also remembering those of Hollyport Village that have lost their life in wars. Um, in the 20th century and um, afterwards. We please ask you for your best behaviour and attitude tomorrow morning. It is a sombre day, it is not uh, a celebration, but it's a time of reflection and a time of thought. We would ask you to be um, standing outside in your lines, in your houses tomorrow morning on time, smartly dressed. Please don't be wearing overcoats, uh, Ivan, Michael, etc. Please be wearing your blazers, wearing your ties, neater than mine is looking at the moment with your poppies on. We would like you to be walking into the uh, sports hall in silence. The seats will be out, year 11s and year 10s will be seated at the back, year 9s will be seated uh, in the uh, further forward and year 7s and 8s will be um, sat down on the floor at the front. We will have choir, there will be a short uh, video presentation. Um, and we do expect your very, very best behaviour. Please go and buy a poppy. Please be wearing it with pride tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11 o'clock, we will ask staff and students to join us out in the quad um, at five to 11. Um, so at 11 o'clock, we will host our minute silence. Everybody will be standing out in the quad um, and Mr. McCary will ring his bell and we will have a two minute silence as a whole school. It is a time of thought, it is a time of reflection um, and we hope that everybody will support this uh, with maturity and sense please, thank you. The only other notice I have is about House Fives on Saturday. Um, Miss Kerr has asked that if you cannot attend House Fives and you are down to play, please can you swap and change with someone else and let her know and we expect a great attendance there. Uh, good luck Herschel, obviously I'm not biased but I'm sure um, everyone will have a great um, morning uh, over at Eton. If you do have your own gloves please bring them along and can I just thank the PE staff for another um, weekend that they're uh, dedicating to the students at this school. If you have any questions about the service, those of you that are involved in the service tomorrow, please be on time, please be looking smart. Anybody that I've spoken to that's involved should be meeting me um, as soon as you can at 8.25 or 8.30 depending on buses. Please be, be there on time and we will have a quick rehearsal. Thank you very much. Have a nice afternoon.